What's up guys, this is Astronox, in this video I want to showcase Mate Chloe in PvE, it's just gonna be Banshee 11, so I'm gonna be showing you uh, her stats, I'm running Celestine right, uh, right now on her, so this heals the, the lowest HP uh, ally on the team for 12%, you know, she does use skill 1 quite a bit, because after she uses that, it's on cooldown for 5 turns after skill ups. So this already, when she uses skill 1, heals herself plus the lowest HP ally plus Celestine. So the healing is quite good. So in PvE, if you want to use her, you're just going to get as much speed as possible. Have enough survival stats so she doesn't die, of course. But this is the way uh, I have her built for PvP right now. I'm trying uh, different things. I had her on Water's Origin before, but now with Celestine, it's too... Well, I'm trying that in, uh, in PvP as well now but uh, it's about showing her healing output she's gonna be uh, against angelic momorency so just to quickly show you the stats of my team so there's seaside bellona right uh, she's gonna be helping champion zirato champion zirato can like solo uh, banshee 11 i've been uh, three manning uh, banshee 11 just so it's faster and it's safer with him he's plus 15 so that's really good. And Angelina Momorancy, of course, she's plus 15. And uh, that's her stat. She's got more speed uh, than uh, Maid Chloe. So keep that in mind. And uh, the skill ups that I have on Maid Chloe are not... Uh, it's not maxed out. I still have uh, two here. Another 20% healing increase. So uh, let's, uh, let's go in there and uh, see how it goes. The thing is, I was actually using her... Uh, in there like I was leveling and uh, I was leveling her and uh, I was uh, I had gear on her and it was going pretty good it was going pretty good you know I kind of want to put her in the front line in this case she actually has more survival than uh, Angelique Momorancy but I'm wondering if I can just take Angelique Momorancy out and just have her uh, by herself like she should be able to provide enough healing uh, the debuffs might get out of hand, maybe. So we'll see how that goes. But the fact that she brings attack buff for three turns is very nice. And the rest of my team is quite slow. I mean, Seaside Bellona and Champion Zirato. It's about... Yeah, they just blew up wave one. It's about comparing the healing output of Maid Chloe versus Angelique Momorancy, which I, I saw that she was doing quite a bit of healing while leveling her. So we'll see if it's uh, it's better now since I did uh, two other skill ups on her passive. And uh, it does vary for Angelique Momorancy depending on the situation. But we'll just see how it goes here. The damage output of Seaside Bellona, of course, is insane. She, I mean, she just pretty much melts everything with attack buff, so that's very cool. Champion Zirato can, like, solo this place. It's not 100% consistency because there's that, like, debuff, like, it's like the death debuff. If he gets it and it stays on him, he's just gonna rip. Sometimes he just resists. He resists even though he's got like 6% effect resistance. So the runs are sometimes failing. It's at least 80% success rate when I'm 3-manning this with Seaside Bellona and Angelic Momorancy. We can try this right after uh, and take out Angelic Momorancy and see how long Seaside can survive. Uh, maybe she survives all the way through. We'll have to, uh, to see. But the poisons are really nice, man. The poisons that uh, Champion Zirato is uh, transferring back on the Banshee or on uh, her adds is really, really powerful. It's really on her. I mean, uh, the Banshee does have... Uh, let's see how much HP she's got exactly. The problem is that Angelina Momrazi, she does provide debuff immunity and when she does apply that on champion zirato it is it's unfortunate it's unfortunate because it's all about him getting debuffs a 60,624 hp is not that much we're not talking a hundred thousand plus so poison and uh well it's not poison poison is uh doing uh 
of 5%, but yeah, if the lower their HP, the less it's going to deal, meaning that uh, it's not going to be as OP as uh, versus like uh, Wyvern with uh, 100, uh, 120k HP or almost. When you have Daydream Joker and Poison, I mean, it's it goes quite fast. But you can't scale Poison, but you do scale Daydream Joker with higher crit damage and, uh, and defense down debuff. So... That's on herself. Rod of Amaryllis, keep that in mind. She's using that. So it's Angelic with Rod versus uh, Mate Chloe with Celestine. Celestine actually heals for more. Is it more? Maybe Celestine heals for a lower amount than Rod of Amaryllis. But it's easier to trigger that on heroes that just spam skill one. So this went fairly fast. Is this good? Nah, if it rolls into crit damage a bunch of times, yeah. Uh, she's in the front line in this run, so she's gonna be uh, MVP pretty easily. Look at the healing output. She is out healing Angelique Momrensi, which is faster. So I noticed that and I was like, man, that's a lot of healing. Her skill 2 is not even maxed out. It's a lot. Now the question is, can she pull it off without Angelic? Let's just bring, uh, let's get that extra XP, of course. Yeah, whoever. Let's just bring someone. You know, I prefer to 3-man this plus a fodder versus 2-man or 1-man because it's faster and safer. Uh... Even as a free-to-play player, my time can be used for uh, farming fathers. I've said it in the last video where I did the Banshee 11 with Champion Zerato. It was uh, the champ plus it was Seaside plus Angelic Momorancy. And even as a free-to-play player, uh, my time can be used to farm uh, two-star fathers. But there's, a, there's quite a bit of things to do in the game. Uh, anyways, most of the time I save my Sky Stones for when there's going to be a uh, gold boost event. And sometimes you also have uh, more crafting materials drop. So that, that's the way I prefer to do it. It's, um, it's better. I feel like it's, it's better to do it this way to be more efficient. But it's hard to actually use all your Sky Stones and burn them real quick during those events. Because first you need to be uh, available to do it. Because uh, we can't rely on those candies for the repeat system. The, those finish so quick, but uh, the most optimal thing would be for you to just save them until there's that event. And when you're sleeping or doing whatever and you can't pay attention to the game, you make space and you just do it. You just start it off, you go to sleep and you wake up and yeah, you did 50 runs. Unfortunately, you can't do more than that, but if your runs are not like a minute long, but more like two, three, four minute plus, then uh, it's quite good, it's quite good. And that's what I did in the last event where there was a uh, gold, uh, gold drop increase, plus crafting materials, I believe. So yeah, she's almost dead here. The poison will, yeah, that's the problem. Oh my god, we, we got ripped in half. We need to take debuffs out. I wish I could have seen uh, the stats and that's the stats for yeah, that's that's not it. That is not it. So We definitely need the cleansing. I was just wondering if uh, since champion Zerato can like solo this it uh, It could have been uh, viable. The problem is The problem is that when you have a hero at 50% health or below that the bench she attacks she will attack again and it's gonna be an AoE attack, meaning that it's gonna, well, potentially just kill uh, Champion Zerato. The reason why he can do it solo is because he's transferring those debuffs off of him, uh, especially the, the Poison debuff, which is helping his damage output against the, the Banshee Queen a lot. But it's because he's not dropping below 50% health often or at all. But if he is, at least I do have the uh, chatty 5-star artifact to uh, increase his survival. It's going to give him a barrier. Right, right now it has 95% chance of triggering 
because it's at plus 27 at plus 30 it's a hundred percent chance so that's that's a layer of uh, survival right there just in case to lower your chance of uh, dying from that that second attack that the banshee is gonna do against uh, against him or your team but in that case it was just way too much damage so yeah uh, that's the thing I could have uh, brought one just potion vial on May Chloe. Uh, I mean, to be honest, Celestine's gonna increase her healing output uh, much more, and also one just potion vial might not be enough because her healing is constant, but her healing is not enough. If you need burst heal, it's not gonna work. And also, uh, you got the chance of losing the uh, VIP treatment buff whenever the uh, just before the split, I believe there's a dispel plus a silence against your team. So that could be uh, problematic. We can check the effects of uh, the Banshee Queen. When using Queen Scream, decreases combat treatment of Fire Elemental Heroes by 100%. Uh, 100%. Decreasing speed for two turns. Yeah, you definitely don't want to bring fire heroes in here, but you can definitely like do it with Tamarine if she's tanky enough. Yeah, you see it dispels all no dispelling all buffs, that's it. And dispels all debuff uh off of her as well. It's an AoE. It's when she falls off below a certain uh percentage of uh health. That's exactly when she does the split, because it says activate Vengeful uh, Spirit Shield after attacking. Yep. That the shield that you see under her name, well, under her HP bar, that's how many turns you have left to kill those ads. If, if you don't do it, she comes back with the ads and she deals a pretty crazy attack. Inflicts a random enemy with a debuff that will damage all other enemies one turn later. I believe that, that the one that she has made Chloe right now, that's Cole. That's the one. And when you get that and you don't transfer it on Champion Zerato, it's it's really bad. I mean, he that's, a lot of times he just dies from that. She's not like helping. You see the resist? You see those resist? Oh my god, that's what's like getting him. It's it's making him die. He just loses. That uh, defense buff. You see, and when you have a hero that's too low HP, then she's attacking twice. So yeah, you, you it's definitely not good at all. His sustain is it? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it was just enough ridiculous run right there that's the thing if he's solo in the run and he doesn't draw below 50 percent hp then like he can do it he can do it but you need to survive that uh that debuff that will deal damage a turn later if he doesn't transfer it uh i believe if he does receive that debuff and it's during the split meaning he can't he can't transfer um in time he, like maybe he loses a turn or something yeah it, that's gonna be the extra burst that's gonna kill him if he can't transfer that thing in time so that that's uh that's it here again look at the healing but the thing is uh, angelic died on the run but still she's doing a lot of healing like if she had like 200 speed uh and like she was built for pve even for pvp like you kind of want her with uh, a bunch of speed like you want her to go first the prime is all the bazaar would just go uh, even before her and yeah it would mess up the whole thing so what i wanted to show was uh the artifact here so rod of amaryllis yeah it, it, it's a lot it's 18 percent right it's plus 15 18% versus like 12. 
Yeah, 12 percent. So 50 percent more than Celestine. The thing is, you have to use a skill versus this thing. I mean, you can just spam skill one, and uh, you don't have any limitation. The thing is, Rod of Amaryllis is so OP on uh, Angelic Momorancy because she can just cycle through her skill so uh, fast. I mean, she can lower her skill to cooldown by one turn. Uh, it's like a 50% chance in her, uh, you know, when you go in her skill uh, tree, I believe. But her cooldowns are low and she's giving herself 50% CR with uh, skill 3. So she's like the queen of uh, of healing really she, her burst healing is insane but maid chloe can actually heal for quite a bit now you need to make sure that the whole team is going to be taking damage if you want to benefit from her healing since she's going to be healing herself and uh, the lowest hp hero on the team so you need to have a constant stream of uh, damage coming your way to really benefit from her healing and not only that you're going to need some Decent HP on your maid Chloe because this heals based on her own max HP So if she's got high HP and you're pairing her with uh, even with squishy heroes She will be healing for quite a bit because of this thing the problem comes from uh, This thing this heals 12% um, of the max health of the ally so uh, to be honest, like you would be healing uh, even further if you pair her with uh, some tankier heroes. With the stat increase, that's making heroes more tanky. But, you know, I wasn't pairing her with uh, the tankiest of heroes. Uh, 10k HP on Seaside is... Uh, I mean, it's okay because she redirects 30% of the damage she takes. Also, the fact that she redirects onto uh, the frontliner, it's allowing... Uh, the team to just have damage spread across them, meaning that it's gonna uh, have Maid Chloe uh, heal two targets. Like, there's, yeah, she's gonna be healing herself. If she's in the front line, she's, the damage redirect from Seaside is gonna be on her. So, uh, she's always healing almost in the run. So, that's why it's good. And if she's like stealing those heals away from Angelic Momorancy, then like she's gonna out heal her, of course, because over heal doesn't count. Champion Zerato, on the other hand, he does have a bit more survival, so yeah, fairly tanky team, and also he was getting the HP boost of Seaside, Mem uh, Seaside at Bellona's uh, Memory Imprint. It's small, but it's something, right? So that's something I wanted to cover. Uh, I will bring a Maid Chloe in other areas of the game in PvE. I'd like to uh, showcase her in uh, Raid uh, as Macalus. Uh, I mean, normal hell. Uh, I can uh, maybe repeat the abyss just to show her healing output during a whole battle, something of the sort. Uh, I could mess around and bring her in uh, some of the other hunts, but uh, yeah, definitely a super fun hero, very powerful, and I can't wait to use her also in real time arena. Should be a lot of fun. I will cover her of course in Guild Wars and I will cover her in arena PvP uh, again. So, uh, yeah, check, uh, I mean, yeah, just stay tuned for that. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena, Guild Wars, Guides, Tips, and How Tos, and Abyss Floor 62+. Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also join my Discord server. We have over 700 members now. So come join the fun. And if you have some questions, no matter uh, your progression in the game, uh, you can definitely ask your questions uh, on my Discord and uh, the community. Uh, will glad uh, gladly help you. I mean, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of players there. I mean, they watch some of my videos uh, like for so long. So I mean, they do have uh, their knowledge plus uh, the no knowledge that they, they might have gained from uh, watching my videos as well. So you can get an answer quite fast. So uh, yeah, it's a good idea to uh, to uh, be in there. So uh, that's really it for this one, guys. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.